So this one doesn't mention that it's binomial or that you could use the Bernoulli trials, but we're rolling a, a die eight times. So it's sort of an indication, hopefully, that that's what's going on here. And that uh, there's going to be at most two sixes, at most two sixes. So that's kind of like, that's what the success rate is, right? or not rate, but that's what the success is, a success. Is to roll a six. And we want at most two. That means either two or one or zero. Okay, so there's three things out of eight times. So what we have to do is, is, is the, the uh, binomial uh, setup. We want the probability that x equals 2 plus the probability that x equals 1 plus the probability that x equals 0 sixes. So all of these. Combine them, get them together. Remember from the binomial theorem, um, we've got the, since we're rolling it eight times, that's our here and then the two is here we want uh, to get exactly two of those sixes probability of rolling the six is one sixth so we could put this up here so the probability of a success is one sixth and remember that makes the probability of a failure subtract this from six over six or one it's going to be five six set this up and how many successes do we want we want two successes and then how many failures does that mean we need to have two minus eight minus two is six okay, so that's going to be that calculation we'll do that uh, we'll just keep getting things set up we're going to do eight choose one times the probability of one success now, I don't have to put an exponent, but I'm going to just to remind myself that these things have to add to 8. And then the probability of a failure is 5, 6. And we're going to get 7 of those. 7 plus 1 is 8. And finally, we're going to do 8 choose 0. Now, again, if you are if you remember what these are, this, this actually ends up being 1. Um, but... We're just going to go ahead and put it in there. Probability of a success, one sixth to the zero power. Again, that's going to be one, so you could leave it out, but uh, I like to have this balance of the setup. It just gets the memory a little bit better. So we'll calculate each of these, we'll get our decimal equivalents, and then we will um, add them all together. So let's get our calculator out here. We'll do the first one. Um, let's clear this out from last time. So we do 8 math probability NCR. And we're going to do 8 choose 2 times, I'll use the parentheses this time, although you could probably get by without it, maybe, maybe not. Um, this looks nice and better this way, some of us depending upon what version you have. And then we're going to multiply that by five divided by six. And we're gonna raise that to the sixth power. So that's gonna give us one answer. Now you could keep going and put a plus and get the next one, but I, I'm just, I'm gonna do one, each one just in case you make a mistake. The thing is if you have it all entered in the calculator, one little error somewhere will throw you off and, and on an exam you won't necessarily know. They want the answer to three decimal places, so I'm going to go to four so that I can make sure my rounding is good. I'm going to round my answers to four, which means I'll be accurately rounded to three decimal places. 0 0.2605 is what I'm going to do, 0 0.2605. Right here. 0 0.2605. Do the same thing for this one. So this one, we're going to do 8 math 
I'm going to choose one. Uh, and you know what? Uh, let me, no, let's just do that. That's eight. But what I'm going to do, is I'll show you a little shortcut. We're going to come up here and we're going to pull that back. If I hit enter, I highlighted it. Notice it brings it back. Come here. This is the nice part about having all of this. I don't have to retype all of this. I can then just say, uh, choose one here. This exponent is going to change to a one. And this exponent is going to change to a seven. Wow. A lot easier than retyping this whole thing. And three, seven, two, one. That's what I'm four decimal places. And three, seven, two, one the leading zero here. And then finally, this last one, again, found a way it's a little easier. Let's go up, get this, enter, and then let's change our values here. Say choose zero, six to the zero power, and this to the eighth power. Point two three two five. We're going to round that five up to a six. Two three two six. Two three two six. And then we're going to add these values all together, and that will give us this probably at most two sixes. Seems like a pretty big probability, but you know, again, an eight successes, it just means we got two sixes, one six or zero six. That those are all things that could happen. So we got the, um, you could come and copy them here if you want. Point two six zero five plus point three seven two one plus point two three. Six that we rounded to three decimal places, 0.865. That's right. And has gone out on me at a very inappropriate time. There we go. It came back. And somewhere in here, I've got the answer to check us on 0.865 for question 14 as the answer. Okay, so that's how we have to do that. Now, uh, had they said two or more, right, we would have had, or, or say like more than two, we would have had to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we would have had too many. So another process is we could find what we don't want, remember, and subtract it from one. So one minus what we don't want would give it to us. However, that would have been more calculations, right? Probability of three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could have calculated all those, added them together, subtracted from one, and we would have got the same thing. That is more calculations. However, if they asked the reverse sort of question, what's the probability of two or more or um, at least two, something like that, do the one minus. Okay, so remember that I didn't always do that. I would do all the extra work and uh, then I go, oh, I could have saved myself a lot of time by remembering this complementary nature of probabilities that um, probably something happening is one minus a probability that not happened. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thank you.